Hi guys, in this video we'll show you how to install Android 10 head unit car radio with rear view camera on Volkswagen Golf MK5, MK6, Passat B6, B7, CC, Skoda and Seat models. So this is the car radio, it's using an Android 10 operating system, supports CarPlay app, has LDS radio, quad core processor, 2 GB of RAM and can be used using the steering wheel buttons. You can see on the box all the functions. It has a 9 inch HD screen with 1024 or 600 pixels resolution. It's from Seikan company. So I ordered from Czech, which I didn't pay for taxes and VAT because I am from European Union. The package arrived after 4 days. You can find the car radio like this in the video description below. Let's see what is in the package. So we have here a bag with two power harnesses and this is another bag and here is the 9 inch HD screen on the back where you connect the, all the cables So let's see in the first bag, what is it? One of the power harnesses. And the other one, you have to use it, you have to use the one that is fitting for your car. So this is the radio antenna. Then we have another cable which is original car USB. And here is a CAN bus decoder. In, in the other bag we have a USB cable an RCA cable which has many wires and here is a cam cable for rear view camera Here is another USB cable. And here we have a GPS antenna. You can find the car radio like this in the video description below. And here is the 9 inch HD screen. So first 
you have to connect the cables to the car radio to this 9 inch HD screen on the back so first you connect the power harness to the car radio insert that black harness then connect the GPS antenna then install the radio antenna then install the cam cable from the rear view camera then install the RCA cable then install the the cam bus decoder to the RCA cable Then you can install those two USB cables. We will give up of these two because we don't want these USB cables. But you have you you can install it in that slot. This is the first one, and the other one. You can insert it right there. It's very simple. And that's it. Then you have to connect the red cables. from the power harness to the LCA cables so it will be red with red which has right uh, A U X in I and R here it is you connect to each other And then the white ones from the power harness to the RCA cables. This one AUX in L. Also you have to splice together those two cables, the, the blue one from the radio antenna and the, the other blue one from the power harness. So auto antenna, it, you'll find it easily. You have to remove that frame so use a trim tool to remove that frame from the center console you can find trim tool set in the video description below 
you can use also the bare hands to remove it then remove the cables from the airbag light you just have to press on that tab from the harness and then take it out then you can see all those four bolts that you can remove it using a T20 Torx To protect the gear shift knob using something to cover it, then take the radio out and place it on the gear shift knob and then disconnect all the cables from the back. So here is the main harness, Ours is, this harness is broken, so this is the original harness, so this is how you should remove it, you just have to press on that tab and lift it up. If your car has logo flip camera you should buy a backup camera converter adapter box that you can find it in the video description below. Here is the black cable, which is the ground, the yellow one, and the, the brown one, which is the reverse cable, and it has also a CAN bus decoder, so you have to connect the cable to the decoder. And this harness, it will connect to the harness from the car. That one, that black one. Only if you have a rear view camera. We forgot to connect the white harness from the power harness to the car radio. And then we connect all the cables from the car radio to the car. So connect the blue wire from the antenna to the blue wire from the power harness. I just told you earlier to connect those two, splice those two together.
and then we connect the black wire from the backup camera adapter box the ground one to the black cable from the power harness so connect the black wire from the backup camera adapter box to the black cable from the power harness Then connect the yellow and brown wires from the backup camera adapter box to the brown cable from the CAN bus decoder. Count the cables from the right to the left from the decoder and, and the fourth cable which is the brown one here. And connect those two cables to that brown cable from the backup camera adapter box. Then connect the yellow cable from the backup camera adapter box to the cam cable, the, the cable from the rear view camera. Here it is. So connect those two together, the yellow one to that yellow cable. Don't forget to use tape to insulate the wires. Then place the GPS antenna on the top of the radio cage inside the center console. So remove that white paper, white sticky paper, and then stick that GPS antenna above the radio cage. If you choose to use those USB cables, you can connect it to the car radio unit and then you can go behind the radio unit and take them out to the left side corner of the glove compartment. And then you have those two USB cables in the glove compartment. You can use USB sticks for them. With movies, with videos, music. Connect the backup camera adapter box cable to the rear view camera cable and then connect the power harness cable. And then put all the cables inside the center console and then put the four screws back.
let's see how it's working so let's test the rear view camera so we put in the rear to see if it's working so if you can see it's working very well now you can see much better from this angle so we have a menu with our settings so we have settings here with reversing radar, radar sound parking mode here we have some details of the car if you start the engine you will see the remaining fuel the outside temperature the voltage the power of the bat the battery power the safety belt it will show you which car is open and also it will show you The, the info from the AC panel You can see a you can see the videos. You can see many apps. You have Google Maps. You have Play Store from where you can download any app you, you some apps for this Android. You have YouTube, but you have to connect the car radio to the internet. Also, you have iGo navigation. Here we also have car settings. Here is an amplifier settings let's see the radio Here are three buttons you can you have the volume and also the turn turn on and turn off button. And then you can connect the airbag cables and the place and place the plastic frame back. If you have any suggestions about new tutorials, let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.